<laughs> the Black Viking is back and ready to react. You damn right, movie pilot. Tyrone Magnus needs to be in a superhero movie. You damn right. And you're probably sitting there wondering, folks, where the fuck did he get that shirt from? This is a cool motherfucking shirt. Look at this. Look at this goddamn shirt. Look at this Superman shirt that I done got. Fresh off the presses at SuperheroStuff.com. I ain't being paid to say that. I saw it on the website. I said, <laughs> I got to get this shit. This, <laughs> this is hot, right? <laughs> Woo! So, let's get to this article that Movie Pilot done wrote about me. I, I, was, I was flabbergasted. Magnus site that sent me this link shot yourself out. I didn't know it was going to be an article about me. I saw that you... You know, sent me a link and I just clicked on it and I opened a, a separate tab while I continued to go through comments so I didn't know. So shout yourself out, some bitch. Okay, let me read this. This says the title is something that I've been thinking for a long time anyway. This is what it says it says Tyrone Magnus needs to be in a superhero film. It says, for those who are confused as to who I'm talking about, Tyrone Magnus is a YouTuber who reacts to viral videos, articles, and many other things. He is a big superhero nut, considering he calls himself the Black Viking, who wields the Dark Mjolnir. That's right. Thor's Mortis counterpart, the Black Tiger, the Black Kryptonian, and Immortal. But... Let me continue. As a Magnusite, when he calls his <laughs> as <laughs> as a Magnusite, what he calls his subscribers, I think he is such a fun and incredibly cool YouTuber who has earned his way to my top five YouTubers after watching his videos for over a year. Thanks, I appreciate that for real. Uh, he is currently on a journey to get one million subscribers, and I hope you all help him. Appreciate that too. Now, on to why I made this article. Tyrone Magnus' page uh, describes him also as an actor and voiceover actor. So, Willis watching videos, and I see how much he loves superheroes and how much fun he has with his videos. I honestly think he could pull off playing a superhero or even a supervillain says first he has the charm every video he either makes me laugh or smile especially the video where he reacted to an article of mine yeah i do read movie pilot i've been on movie pilot for a long time he's been in my feed for a while on facebook second his physique and deep voice are perfect that are both for a superhero or villain recently he reacted and reviewed the fantastic four teaser and in the <laughs> and in it, he repeated the monologue from the trailer. Personally, I thought he sounded cooler than the trailer, although the actual speech was awesomely done. It says, third, the guy is so much fun to watch. Again, referring to his Fantastic Four video in the intro, he did. <laughs> the video made me grin and laugh big time. Heck, most of his intros are awesome. Uh, from the funny ones to the actual cool ones, like uh, his Reptile <laughs> Mortal Kombat 10 video or Star Wars The Force Awakens video. So putting someone that fun on the big screen uh, is sure to get a lot of fans. Now, when I first see Magnus in terms of superheroes, I immediately think of Luke Cage. I get that a lot. Luke Cage of the Black Ring Lantern. Um, AKA Power Man. Unfortunately, Mike Coulter is already cast as that character, but Magnus is also a voiceover actor, so I could see him as an animated Luke Cage. Uh -huh. Let's see here. However, 
I have a few other choices for characters that Magnus could play, such as Jefferson Pierce, a.k.a. Black Lightning, one of the first African-American superheroes in comic history. Whether he is the first or not is unknown to me, and I love this character. Black Lightning looks pretty cool. And to give sort of an example of Magnus's physique for a hero, I fiddled with Photoshop and made this. <laughs> While he is a bit more of an obscure character for audiences, I think people could come to love him, especially if this guy is playing him. Next, there is Emerald Crusader, Jon Stewart, a.k.a. Green Lantern. Lantern of Sector 2814. <laughs> I love to put a ring on my fucking finger and create things from my pure will. Says, sucky Photoshop, I know, <laughs> but it's just to give you an idea. Here's the thing, though. I am not that big a fan of Jon Stewart. He always seemed meh to me, but there have been times where the movie version of the character has been better than the comic book version, such as Blade, Thor, etc. By the off chance Tyrone actually, actually reads this article, you damn right I'm reading this article right now! Woo! That's right, movie pilot. You're on my number one list right now. Make sure that I continue to go to your website for all the movie news. I've been coming to you, but now you're number one. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. I want him to show off his epic voice while reading. <laughs> the Green Lantern Oath. As if he were in a scene. Just to show movie pilot and the people at Hollywood. <laughs> Who do check out movie pilot. An example of what he can do. <laughs> let's see here. See, the villain has weakened Jon Stewart immensely and is forced to be on one knee, but Stewart finds that the will to continue the fight, so he speaks out. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware. My power, Green Lantern's light! <laughs> oh man, you know what's funny? I never knew the Green Lantern's oath with some practice on that. Oh shit, man, I'll make that work. Believe that. Believe that. Um, what better way to show off an epic voice than with the epic Green Lantern line? Yeah. Now, what really got me intrigued in him possibly playing a villain was what I talked about earlier when he spoke the Fantastic Four trailer speech. So I created a monologue of my own for my own original story in the future, and I thought it would be another read for him. <laughs> so, let me see something here. Am I supposed to read this in a... Uh, Okay, okay. <clears throat> so he wants me to read this like a villain. Okay. Mercy, mercy. You beg for it, yet when received, you squander it. Wasted. You all scatter about your world like insects, insignificant and pathetic. You will know what it's like to actually feel small. And as I take away your hope, your will, your light, then you can beg me for mercy and you will remember my name, Malice. <laughs> How did I do? <laughs> Woo! All right, so next, um, have the chills? Ha! I hope so. Well, I hope people actually like this article and please check out Tyro Magnus's channel. That's right, subscribe right now. And make sure you go to Movie Pilot. Make sure you follow him for all the latest movie news. 
uh, and says, uh, help him get to 1 million subscribers. Woo! Ain't that cool? I, I really, really, really appreciate that support from you. For real, man. And, um, that's, that's, this is incredible, man. I'm gonna upload this video. I hope I did well enough with your, uh, monologue for you. And, uh, if you need me, let me know, man. Consider this. Consider you you just scratched my back. I'm scratch yours. So if you, you need me to do something for you, let me know. I got you. All right? I appreciate it. Magnesites, let me know what you think about Movie Pilot supporting me. Supporting Thor's Mortis counterpart, the Black Kryptonian, the Black Tiger, and possibly future Luke Cage, maybe Jon Stewart. Mm, who knows? <laughs> One million subscribers. Woo!